The next time you head to the polls, you might find the check-in process to be faster than it has been in the past, thanks to these new poll pads the city has purchased. Here's City Clerk Stephen Kerrigan with more. Instead of the old paper list where you stood there and someone had to flip through hundreds of sheets of paper trying to find, uh, you know, Zompetti Street, or, you know, they're trying to find Upland Road, it's way at the end of the alphabet, um, then, uh, you know, we, we're going to have these machines here. And they're, they're really simple to use. We used them during early voting um, when people checked in, and, and I think that uh, the general public saw that, how, how uh, easy they were to use. And I know the poll workers, the election workers who used them, thought that uh, they were fantastic. The new poll pads come with many advantages, including looking up where each resident is eligible to vote. What happens now, unfortunately, is if someone turns up at the wrong polling location, which this year is going to be a very uh, great possibility because we had re-precincting. So there have been some homes and there have been some households that have switched precincts or even switched wards. And um, so they're going to go to the polling location that they always went to for the last 10 years and voted, and then they're going to find out that, oh, I don't belong here anymore, I belong at a different polling location. And what happened before was the, the election worker only had the list for that particular precinct and couldn't tell Steve Kerrigan where he went to vote. These machines are going to be able to look up and they'll at least be able to see that, okay, Steve Kerrigan, you vote in Ward 6, Precinct 1, which is at the Whitcomb School, so that's where you have to go, even though I showed up at the Hildreth School because that's where I always voted. So, so that's going to be one of the biggest advantages. The other one, too, is, is, is speed. We're going to be able to get people checked in you know, a lot faster. Um, you know, I don't know what the average speed was on the paper list, but trust me, it took some time sometimes. You know what I mean? To, you know, like I said, you got to get back to Zompetti Street or whatever, and now they're going down the list trying to find, um, you know, the person's name. Where this, it's going to be as simple as, and I'm sorry I put my glasses on because now I'm old, um, you know, it's going to be as simple as they're going to just type here and they're going to type they can type a couple letters of the person's last name, or in this case, I'm using my assistant's last name, who it's, it's very short, so um, they type in the last name. You can type the first initial if you know it, and you hit search, and lo and behold, there it is. And it tells, right there, it tells, you know, the person's name, their address, their voter, the ward, the precinct, it actually even tells them where they vote. Um, so it's ready to go in a, in a moment, and, you know, they'll be able to, you know, then check the voter in, give them their paper ballot, they proceed to the voting booth, cast their ballot, and then they're out of there. These new machines will only be used in the check-in process. Residents will cast their votes the same way they have in years past. Balloting will not change in Massachusetts. We are still going to use paper ballots for both uh, you know, federal, state, and local elections. Um, and they will be fed into the AccuVote machine. What these machines are going to do, are these machines are going to assist us in checking voters in. The city clerk reminds residents that there will be two opportunities to vote this year. Come out and vote on September 6th and again on November 8th. Please, lots of work goes into it, so we would appreciate to see you all.